Hi dear friends click on the like button and the subscribe button hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram So I drove this car guys yes the raptor and unfortunately I could not take it out on the main road because the car is not registered and there are insurance formalities here in the United States of America but right now I am at a Ford dealership and let me quickly show you around what awesome cars Ford makes trust me the cars in the United States of America from Ford are so good and that's the reason why it's so popular Ford is like insanely awesome here because the cars have great build quality and they look amazing as well so let me quickly quick <laughs> what is happening to me because I'm so intimidated by the F150 which is standing right next to me. Let me quickly show you a ton of them. Man, <laughs> insane. They are just insane. So here we go. That is the Ford Raptor. It looks mind-boggling and it is so good that you know what? You can't buy one right away. There's a lot of waiting period and it has no competition at all. That is the Raptor for you. Now obviously I'm going to do a full dedicated video on the Raptor. So let's look at other cars present here and uh, that is the Focus which is standing there. Rival to the Toyota Corolla, it's a good seller, no denying that fact. And over here we have a ton! Sorry about that, Trump truck was passing. So anyways, over here we have a ton of F-150s. A ton, and then I mean a ton, I mean a ton. Like, look at the number of F-150s. Now all of them are brand new, so all these cars over here are brand new. They also keep used cars over here. So, uh, this is the Hertrich dealership of Ford and the F-150 has some serious presence. You know, it is the top selling vehicle in the world and like I can show you all of them but trust me, the Raptor is the one to watch out for. There is the Focus and uh, this is the F-150 XLT which basically means that, <laughs> I don't know what it means actually, <laughs> It is two-door. <laughs> yeah, that's the fact. So there is another F-150. Now that one gets four wheels at the rear. Yeah, and it gets a 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel engine. So this is not the F-150, this is the F-350. I'm sorry about that. Chrome wheels, these are alloys of what I don't understand. But look at the suspension travel over here. And obviously it looks mind-boggling, the F-350. And this is the F-250, but the F-150 is the top seller. Look at the mirrors, the way they are positioned, they're so far out. But the best thing about this particular car, the F-350, are the wheels at the rear. I mean, <laughs> what were they thinking when designing this car? Look at those wheels, yeah. Twin wheels, let's get down and show you there, yeah. Okay, body and frame chassis obviously makes it super duper rugged and uh, bay which can accommodate probably your car yeah that is the f350 for you this is the super duty it's called the super duty another super duty over here so this is the f250 and uh, just so many of these over here it says 4x4 four 4x4 four, four four off-road and i mean these trucks are just insane and in america you need big trucks because you want to haul a lot of luggage you can't simply call some packers and move on and say so that it doesn't work that way over here so many of them you can choose one in any particular color you like and this is the red one which i particularly like i like the wheels on this vehicle black also looks nice green also looks nice blue also looks nice Faisal, what is wrong with you you like every ford car here you're like a ford fanatic who's been left open in a candy shop uh, okay let's not digress love those wheels on this one the chrome wheels like i i think this can give a run to the cadillac escalade for blinginess so we have a lot more of them and there is the escape which is standing which also i'll show you in a bit so these are the trucks from Ford, the F-150. The Escape is standing here, the Ford Escape. In fact, in America, all cars are so huge. Now the Escape looks like an Eco Sport to me. But thankfully, we also have an Eco Sport over here, which I'll show you in a bit. There you go. Yeah, familiar Ford design language. Back to the F-150. This is the XLT version, but this one has proper doors. It's a four door. And this is the F-150 XL, it has two doors, large loading bay. So this is the area for the F-150 here at the Ford dealership. And there is the area for the fabulous, mind-boggling muscle car, the Ford Mustang. Now this is the 2018 versions which are standing over there. There are five 
in different different colors so this is obviously something i'm not going to focus on much the mustang because you've already seen it on my channel yes this is the five liter naturally aspirated it looks so mean those air vents kind of look funny to me although the car does have a lot of presence so we have a blue one here a black one here this blue one isn't the top of the line and this brings me to the ford edge over here again uh, like it doesn't really particularly stand out the edge decent looking car there's the focus and it looks good this is the ford expedition trust me if this is launched in indiana it can give a run for its money to bigger cars and more expensive cars from various other german brands so this is the focus here looks like an evolved version of the fiesta as we keep going ahead we come to the ford explorer this is the xlt version i don't know what's with the lts and americans they just put on every possible thing right from chevrolet to ford now we know now that uh, ford owned jaguar land rover because the design language kind of reminds you of that and some of the car design language will remind you that they also own aston martin this is the escape and a lot of escapes here i'm actually tired walking around the showroom it is so huge like trust me like you need to come to america to see what big means <laughs> and there we have the echo spot and for that you can see fords i think that's the transit vans so commercial vehicles here as well although i think the f150 is also a commercial vehicle so right ahead we have got the echo spot it's the latest version which was also updated in india it looks nice the wheels are like massive actually we also get similar wheels on the indian model so i think these are 18 inches we get 17 inches in india which are also a handful over there uh you know these are 17 inches to not 550 17 so Kudos to Ford to offer a similar size tire in India, and here we have the rear of the Echo Sport. Now it doesn't get a spare wheel, which is mounted on the tailgate because that will be kind of flashy here in the United States of America. So we have it in multiple colors, and by the way, this is an Echo Sport with four-wheel drive. Although the roads are so smooth, I think we need four-wheel drive in India more than we need it in the United States of America because, like, to go over potholes, I need four-wheel drive. Trust me, this is the EcoBoost four-wheel drive version of the Escape. So it looks very similar the Echo Sport as well as the uh, Escape. Slightly bigger car actually. It's like a Creta rival probably, and uh, the wipers on this car are Ulta, like the Honda Civic. You can see one, two. So. That's kind of interesting. Echo Sport is small. These are the wheels which were there on the pre-face lift model. I have an Echo Sport at home. It has these wheels itself. Here is the Ford Flex again, which will remind you of a Land Rover. <laughs> and let me quickly get to the front and show you around. Just remove that Flex badging, and you'll be like, okay, it might be a Range Rover or something of that sort. So you know, when Ford owned uh, Land Rover and Jaguar, they decided, okay, let's just like, copy paste the design from here to there. What can possibly go wrong? But obviously, that seems to have worked. because i see a lot of flex on the road the rear design is also nice it's very boxy as such eco boost engine so these are the amazing cars over here i don't think anyone's interested in those commercial vehicles i'll still zoom it and show it to you there they are so ford has cars in almost every possible segment unfortunately in india they only made it till this segment we don't have any car above the echo sport other than the endeavor which happens to be a asia specific car and there is a plane landing here there's an airport around that guy is giving it the beans although he is planning to land right now so what you might not have seen over here is the mondeo or i think it's called the fusion over here somewhere places it's also called the taurus so a confusing names there's a slight difference between the focus which is that this is the focus hatchback and this is the fusion which happens to be the mondeo now this is the hybrid version and uh, now i'll show you from front and trust me you will get confused they are so similar so this is the focus and this is the fusion See similar design language a little bit Aston Martinish but trust me unless and until you really look with a microscope not with a microscope with a keen eye you would not be able to recognize the difference between the Fusion which happens to be the Mondeo and the Focus which happens to be a car which sits in the D segment so thankfully the sun has gone a bit down we have more of the focus so this reminds me of the indian fiesta <laughs> and here we have a fiesta as well so this is the fiesta this is the hatchback version you also get a sedan version of it and i've seen a lot of them over here surprisingly you can see from the rear 
design is really nice if this is launched in india priced at rupees 8 9 lakh rupees trust me it will give a run for its money to the fiat point to abath because no matter what happens the baleno is still going to sell a lot so this is the focus st yeah and look at this baby wow very sporty looks nice look at those exhausts over there mind boggling isn't it how do they come up with such sporty hatchbacks like i think maruti suzuki needs to go back to the drawing board with the baleno rs so you have a better mirrors which will also show you a blind spot coming to the front of the car again similar 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 everywhere it's very similar and when i was panning the camera i realized there's a fiesta sedan here as well so this is the one we had in india this is the one which i had driven for a lot of time i had one for a year or so and i had so much fun you know like anytime i was not in the best of mood i would just get up take the car go for 100 km drive and come back because it was a diesel it used to return good mileage as well and it was fantastic in terms of dynamic oh ferrari inspired wheels same as the one we saw it in india and over there we have the fiesta st again what is uh, the good thing is that there is also a focus st actually i already shown you the focus st so this is the focus st this is the fiesta st and this is a car which will actually tell performance because there you know this is a real hot hatch and see the wheels are on it have very low profile and uh, it returns 29 miles per gallon 205 40 17 inches i can live with that trust me you know between the focus and the fiesta the design language there's not much you can make out they look kind of similar as such at the wheel base i mean omg i i can fit in a proper long wheel base version of the e class between both these wheels that's how long the wheel base is on this car insanity so many fords which is your favorite please let me know so it's time for me to get inside there to show you more uh yeah This is the Focus RS. Look at the interior; it's so sporty. Six-seat gearbox. The seats are so supportive and sexy. We need such kind of cars, and you can see the gauges over there. That's for the turbo information. What is the boost like? Turn camera focus. Yep, has to focus on a focus. In a focus, yeah. Now this is the Fiesta ST. Similar cluster to the one we saw in India. Steering wheel also similar. Seats get a little sporty. Get this ST badging over there. and uh, the interior actually looks quite nice and sporty obviously all black because americans don't like beige indians love beige by the way the problem with this car is lack of rear seat space and i don't know why they've placed cup holders here in the center obviously no third person is going to fit in especially of american size in india we try to squeeze in a lot of people so this is the fiesta st and here we have the focus st nice interior st over there but obviously the rs looks sportier with those seats and alcantara ST badging on the seats as well not much as such in the interior but the outside design is splendid again lack of space at the rear not much space as such this car competes with the Corolla the Elantra Cruze and the likes in the D segment oh the ST is open right there yeah oh, okay so we've got an escape over here and this is the titanium variant lot of buttons over here and guess what over here for the air conditioning it's something similar to what we have seen on older volvos obviously ford owned volvo so they took the inspiration from there nice looking cabin again black treatment with beige on the lower half for that airy feel beige door pads the rear seat has good amount of space as well i believe that this car is launched in india it can compete with the compass or the santa fe actually the tucson more escapes and the car all of you want me to show you i don't know for what reason is the echo sports so open it Oh my god it is exactly the same as the one which is sold in India kudos to Ford for maintaining that obviously it gets a ton of features like it does in the Indian market the seats are nice and supportive and this is an automatic but the layout over here is different so you get that man sitting there i don't know for what reason similar to ones which we see on Volvos and the instrument cluster it doesn't feel as basic as the one which we see in India because of the chrome or rather a silver surround there around the tachometer as well as the speedometer So this is the Echo Sport from inside. Let's quickly see the rear seat. Not much space. That's one of the reasons why the Brezza outsells it. But yeah, the Brezza outsells it because it's a Maruti. This is the Ford Flex from outside. Might look boxy. From the inside, it is everything but that. But look at the door. It's a very different sort of a design. I actually like it. The seats don't look very supportive as such. But I'll reserve that judgment. Now you can see the instrument cluster is very similar to the one on the. Endeavor and uh, probably the Flex is an Endeavor in a different avatar, in a more boxy Land Rover sort of avatar. Rear seat, rear seat has good amount of space. Yeah, actually very good amount of space. And uh, this is a six-seater that you can see. Captain seats in the second row. 
the third row also has good amount of space actually people can easily sit in the third row and let me open the boot right now so you know these seats in america they have a lot of depth over here so you can easily keep you know stuff around that's a good thing for sure but no electric adjust to close it have to manually do it so this is the flex all wheel drive let's get inside the ford edge and there you go i mean the interiors of most of the ford cars are similar now this one also gets an instrument cluster which is similar to the one on the endeavor all black interior look nice and sporty and at the rear there isn't much amount of space so if you want seven seating you should probably opt for the ford flex now let's open the boot as well since we are at it large enough boot especially when you put the seats down and press this button to close it some of the flex did not have that maybe probably it's a lower variant 2018 Ford Expedition and this is two sizes bigger than the Endeavor it's huge and massive but somehow i don't understand how do they have such a small screen over here for the multi information display oops multi information display is here all right this is actually the infotainment screen i wonder how they have got so small and this is a 2018 model so that's surprising yeah looks nice obviously it does Let's get into the rear seat and the seats are all messed up but this will seat eight in comfort and captain seats so I show you the leg room oh decent amount of leg room headroom also seems good enough let's quickly open the boot of this car this is massive and this is like really big decent size boot actually but again you have to manually put it down ah oh, the effort to do so by the way you can flip seats here by pressing a button headrest fall so proper people carrier with an suv appeal to it and uh, the seat comes back up oh god the effort to close this door which is massive so this is the expedition this is the expedition max different wheels on this one this is the explorer the ford explorer a nice looking dash the instrument cluster is in the best i would say though and uh, all wheel drive modes are over there a little bit plain for my liking but yeah nice looking car There's a good amount of space here. Somehow I don't understand how the spacing thing works. Some of the cars have little space, although they are bigger. And this is also a seven-seater, oh, practically in that sense. Let's open the boot. Again, they have this depth over here, so you know you can put large suitcases without a fuss. And again, you need to manually close this thing. This is the Explorer. Let me quickly show you the front of this car. <laughs> Looks like a Land Rover Freelander, doesn't it? There we go, Freelander. Two. These are the old Fusions, 2017 model. This is the Platinum. I actually like the headlights on this. It reminds me of the Mustang. And this is the Sport. As you can see, the interior doesn't look as flamboyant as the one which I see on the latest model right now. Good looking interiors though. And there isn't much space at the rear as such. Oh my God, the car is so hot because it's black. Ford actually sold the Mondeo in India, and it did not sell well. Maintenance is really very high on that car. The wheels look nice on the Sport one. The tires are like really low profile, like extremely low profile tires. Two thirty five. 40 inch yeah 19 inch on a d segment car imagine getting that on a superb or an octavia in india it'll be like crazy isn't it i love the headlights i love the headlights so guys ford makes some awesome car as you can see this dealership is so lit so many vehicles so many amazing cars and that's the reason why ford is so successful over here and obviously i want a lot of these cars to come to the indian market like this fusion which happens to be the mondeo by the way awesome focus rs or rather the focus st i you know i am just talking you up your times and you know what you can see because sports there as well now obviously uh, i have already shown you all around the place and i'm going to go to other dealerships i've shown you chevrolet in usa i plan to show you tesla as well and probably dodge too so if you want to see all that make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video real soon bye bye